So in my recent World Tour video, someone left a comment asking about how fast is my mob farm, and that got me thinking, how fast is my mob farm? I've gotten quite a number of drops from this over the years, and it never occurred to me that I've never actually tested how fast it is. So in today's video, I've done some testing, and we're going to see how fast this mob farm is. In case you haven't seen the World Tour video, this is my mob farm down here. So this mob farm is a four-way mob evader design uh, inspired by Ethos Lab. Step inside. So we've got 16 spawning pads in the middle with a three-wide spawning pad ring around the outside. Mobs spawn on these pads, walk off into the water stream here, and swim towards the middle where they swim up because all mobs swim up in beta. And they swim up there and they die in the lava blade that you saw at the beginning of this video. Now you may notice one feature about this farm is these slabs in the middle. This is to prevent spiders from spawning. I can turn these off with a redstone uh, current because these are all connected to sticky pistons. Come over here, we can use the override switch, which will remove them. And now spiders can spawn. This is because spiders require a 3x3x1 uh, area with a non-solid block above. So if a spider tries to spawn here, for example, right on this block, it can because there's a 3x3 area and it's, val it's a valid spawn spot. However, if this slab was up, that would remove the spawning area. So this got me wondering, how fast is the mob farm and how fast is it with spiders and without spiders? Because I was wondering if spiders would actually slow down the farm and long story short, they slow the farm down quite a bit. So for my test, I ran the mob farm for one hour three times with spiders off, and then one hour three times with spiders on. What I would do is I would turn on the lever in the control room, and then let the farm run, and then at one hour I would turn it off, and any mobs that are still in the system, I would let those filter through, die in the lava blade, and count their drops. So on the left here, was spiders on and on the right here these were spiders off chests and straight away you can already see there's quite a difference so test number one I got 3979 items in that one hour 1070 of that were gunpowder I've separated the gunpowder stat from all the other items because gunpowder is the primary useful item I'm trying to get out of this farm uh, bones do have a use but to be honest, I don't really use that many bones. Same with arrows, but you never really go through arrows that fast. Feathers are practically useless in this version, so it doesn't really matter. Second test, 3,580 items in an hour and 941 gunpowder. And then my third hour test, 4,110 items and 1,188 gunpowder. So once you average out those three results, it comes to 3,889.6 items per hour and an average of 1,066.3 gunpowder per hour. The second test, I had the spiders turned on and already I'm seeing a significant decrease in items. So in the first hour test, I got 2,457 items. Uh, 599 of that was gunpowder and 62 string. I'm counting the string in these tests because that's the only reason why you would want spiders on. These are the items. And already you're noticing a significant decrease because in this first test, I completely filled up this chest plus some in here. Meanwhile, in this other test, I barely filled this chest. There's still at least uh, 14 slots, 14 stacks. Of items that are empty that I didn't even get so already you're noticing a decrease in items second test 2490 items in an hour 594 gunpowder and 74 string so already once again there's a whole pretty much a whole empty row and the third test 2582 items with 540 gunpowder and set and 67 string so that comes to an average of 2,509.6 items an hour, 
with 577 gunpowder per hour and 67.6% string. So I hope you found this experiment as interesting as I did. I was quite amazed to find out how exactly fast my farm was. I wasn't really expecting it to be that fast and I was really shocked to discover how much spiders actually clog up the system. So I'm glad to know that my effort into this farm has been somewhat worth it. And I'm glad to know that my spider spawning toggle option was absolutely worth it. So, and I hope you thought this video was worth it. Remember, if you disliked it, leave a thumbs down and put your hate comment below. Doesn't matter, any kind of rating or comment will just promote this video on the algorithm. So, what are you going to do? Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.